Welcome to the Dr. Joe Show. I'm Joe, and today we're doing another cigar review. However, we're doing something a little different, and uh, what we'll be doing is a non-Cuban cigar review. And what I've decided to do, because I have so many freaking non-Cuban cigars, a lot of which I love, uh, that I'm going to be mixing up the reviews. And how we're going to do it is this. Every day I'm going to do a cigar review. Every day I come home and I want to smoke a cigar, kick back and relax. You know, troubles of the day go away. So what I'm going to do is, each time I do this, it's going to be Cuban, non-Cuban, Cuban, non-Cuban. And that's how we'll proceed. So you can look forward to each day of the week seeing a new cigar review. And um, it's going to be crazy for me because I'm making, starting today, this is the first video, second cigar review, actual cigar review I'm doing on Dr. Joe's show, other than you know all the other stuff we've done. But this is an actual cigar review. And every day I'm going to attempt to smoke something different. So the rule is I'm going to smoke a different cigar every day for the next year and we're gonna keep up a bet of can I do it is it possible of course it's possible I mean there's so many different freaking cigars out there but how crazy would that be you know now am I gonna be smoking other cigars between these reviews yes of course because I'll have a real you know uh, urge for something in particular at some time and I'll smoke it or you know whatever so Plus, I'll have to, like, you know, mix the palate. Like, you know, if I smoke a Padron that day, maybe I'll smoke a few Padrons that day or something. Or, like, you know, to really get a, a grip on them. You know, um, it, I think if you smoked a different cigar a day every day, you know, one cigar a day every day for a year, I don't know what your palate would do. It might explode. It might fall off. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, you may not be able to tell one thing from another anymore. Uh, but I think this will be a cool thing to do. It'll be interesting. It'll give me a sort of, you know, sometimes I get home and I'm like, well, I want to do something, but should I do this or that or, or how do I, you know, what am I going to do today? This will at least give me some direction in which to go. So today I'm going to start with a little cigar uh, from one of my favorite brands. Okay, Tatuaje. so I'm back and uh, we have here, this is one of my favorite, favorite daily kind of knock around non-Cuban cigars on the market and it's called the Tatuaje Noelis or Noeus a lot of people say um, it's a Corona sized cigar uh, by a brand Tatuaje if you're not familiar with it uh, Tatuaje was started by Pete Johnson and uh, some years back uh, and it is really it has really become one of my favorite non-Cuban brands it's a Nicaraguan brand uh, they have factories in both Esteli, Nicaragua and Miami, Florida, which makes it a little interesting. Uh, so there are some little brand facts I know here and there that, uh, that'll that be interesting to you. And they also, you know, they've, they've progressed and become, at first they were really an underground brand, like, you know, popular among people who knew them, but they really weren't mainstream. Uh, and they grew into that to the point where they released everything other cigar people do, you know, like uh, limited releases and special releases and collectible stuff and, you know, they, they, they've done everything, you know, so it's really, really great. Next to Padron, uh, I would say it's one of my favorite brands and I don't even like Padron better. I just, they're, they're completely different uh, flavor-wise. Uh, I would just say that uh, sometimes I'm in the mood for one, sometimes I'm in the mood for another. So there really is, which one do you like more? There really is none of that. This is one of the cigars I would actually consider, including all cigars, that if I was stuck on a desert island and you could only smoke one cigar, you know, uh, a day for the rest of your life, uh, what cigar, and it could only be one brand, one type of cigar, what cigar would you pick? Interesting question, because, I mean, there are so many to consider. But this is on the list, and that's because it's never failed me. It's always good. It's always good. The Tatuaje Noelis is uh, dynamite construction, you know, I never have burn issues, no plugs, no loose draws, no tight draws, um, always has a great flavor, you know, however, uh, some of them I've found to be more flavorful than others, like, I've smoked so many of these that I've really noticed different, you know, levels of quality, that's what happens with Cuban cigars too, and any cigar, 
you know, one year to another, one month to another, one box to another. You know, you really can't tell exactly what you got until you smoke, start smoking it. You become familiar with the flavor of the brand. Uh, let's try to get start this smoking and we'll keep talking about this. But uh, I'm going to cut the cap, giving it a nice little straight cut, my favorite cut. And um, right away, I'll tell you one thing I love, packed with flavor, good amount of salt, and it's got that twang, man. It's got a certain, mm, there's a sour note along with the salt that really gives it something akin to that Cuban twang we all talk about and love. Uh, the, Tatuaje is one of the cigars that I would recommend to the guys who came in the shop and say, you know, I only smoke Cubans, I'm overseas, can't get any cigars, what do you recommend? And depending on mild, medium, strong, I would really usually recommend something from Tatuaje. And 90% of the time, they were very happy, you know? Um, and that other 10%, you know, usually they were, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't Cuban. Uh, well, of course. But, you know, I said, look, it's not going to be like a Cuban cigar, it's different. But what I'm saying is if you enjoy Cuban cigars, you probably enjoy this. Um, I'm going to roast it a little. Wow. This has really developed some bouquet. Mmm. Very, very, a very sweet, sweet, extremely floral and woody bouquet. It smells absolutely delicious. Ah. Mmm. From the first puff packed with flavor. Now, this is a, we were talking about brands and quality. This is a specific, specific cigar from an era that I consider to be the absolute best uh, for this particular Vitola, you know. We would get boxes of tatuajes from the same month, same year, they do date their boxes, which is cool, and one box you'd open and they'd be, you know, kind of a light, waxy, tannish wrapper and then you would open another box and get a dark deep Colorado reddish brown wrapper um, some would be drier leathery some would be oily anyway they started coming around at one point in about 2011 to 2012 and uh, mid 2011 say and they were dark and oily and they just looked amazing amazing so I, you know, I handpicked myself out of who knows how many boxes we opened, the ones I like the most, all the qualities I like to see in a cigar as far as construction. And I would look for the darker the better, uh, the oilier the better, uh, and then I would look at the foot. I would like to see a nice, a nice bunching that was not too tight. I don't like a cigar when you look at the foot and the bunching is like, you know, compressed to the part that, point that it looks like you know, I don't know, sawdust or something, because you can't see any of the, you know, I like it when the leaves are a little thicker and bunched less tightly at the foot. I like a cigar that has a little bit of give all the way up, and there are no real hard, tight spots, but not underfilled. No spot that you go touch and your thumb kind of indents because there's nothing under the wrapper. You know, so I would be handpicking these, and I would make a, a box and just, you know, two or three, you know, cigars a day, I would buy, you know, maybe four or five a week, you know, and just put them away and then buy them and keep making. So I made myself a custom box, basically. And um, then I, I smoked a few and then I sat on them. So this Tatuaje in particular is about three years old or so. Uh, I've smoked a lot of old Tatuajes too, 
because I would hold them and age them, and also, you know, things like would happen, lockers would be abandoned, and bills not paid, and we'd end up with the cigars, and all sorts of different things. And, uh, you know, they do very well with aging, which I cannot say about a lot of non-Cuban brands. Cuban tobacco ages differently, just like Dominican tobacco ages differently from Nicaraguan tobacco. They all age differently. Nicaraguan tobacco in general tends to be very strong, especially cigars with a lot of Lajero in them, which a lot of Nicaraguan companies like to pack into their cigars. Lajero ages particularly well, in my opinion, because it doesn't, it has so much strength that it doesn't, you know, have, uh, it has enough to lose strength over the aging process and still remain a strong, flavorful cigar. So uh, they do well with aging, and these are just absolutely just better than I even remember. I think this is a, it's a great cigar. It's a type of cigar that it's ready to smoke as soon as it hits the shop, it's ready to smoke five years later. It doesn't even matter. It, you, any day you smoke it, it's going to be good. What happens to them uh, specifically, I would say the biggest difference between off the shelf and three years later with this cigar, since I've smoked so many of these, one thing I'm noticing is it's just a lot smoother. A lot smoother. It doesn't seem to have lost any flavor. If anything, it seems to have developed a little more of a twang. Maybe that's because of... Uh, the tannins and resins building up, you know, the tannins escape and... Oh, God. Very enjoyable. Okay, so I have a nice, a nice earthy flavor that really doesn't click... It's not like a... It doesn't cling to the tongue, though. And uh, definitely a... a on the breathe out, you, you definitely have like a real, a real strong coffee note. Uh, and that twang, you know, I'm noticing. I'm noticing uh, cedar, a good amount of cedar. Uh, definitely, it's, it's woody with cedar. And uh, if I had to say three things, I would say earthy, woody, uh, and a, a strong coffee note on the breath out. 